Very good day to you. It's just wonderful to be with you on the program again. We've just got five minutes, but I've got something very important to share with you. Every single one of us watching this program, including myself, especially me, are debtors. We owe God everything. Why? Because He created us. He gave us life. He is our Father, and we are indebted to Him. Why are we indebted to Him? Because, because He's our Creator. If you look at uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 12, the Word of God says, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. I'll read it again. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh to the flesh. We do not, as believers, owe this world anything. God has forgiven us. He set us free. He's paid the ultimate price. What did He pay, Angus? Well, He sent His Son down from heaven to earth to die for your sins and for my sins, to pay for your debts and to pay for my debts. He came to set us free from evil. He came to heal us when we are sick, He came to give us new life. He came to give us a vision. Okay? Our debt is only to Him. We are not debtors here to any flesh. We don't have to give an account to anybody. We give an account to God because God alone paid the ultimate price for us. Isn't that wonderful to know? I'm a debtor. You know, folks, if I think of where I came from and where I am today... I am indebted to Christ. I was on my way down. I was on my way down for the last time, just like you. For me, there was no hope. There was no joy. There was no reason to live. There was no future for me. And He came and He saved me. He pulled me out of that miry pit, just like He did with King David. He set me on a rock, as the Bible says. And He gave me a new chance. He said to me, if any man be in Christ in me, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. I am indebted to Jesus Christ. Why? Because He gave me a second chance. He gave me new life. He paid for all my sins. He says, Angus, if you confess your sins, I am faithful and just to forgive you of all your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. My debt, I don't have any more debt to this world. This world holds nothing for me, folks. I want to tell you something now. Yes, I'm here because God's given me a mission, and that is to tell you the good news, that He can take all your debts away. You see, what the devil does, he makes you guilty. The devil is an intimidator. He's a liar and he's a thief. John chapter 10, verse 10. Okay, the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I came to give you life abundantly. And I'm living an abundant life. He's healed me. He set me free. Some of you were here in 2009 when we were preaching to more men than the whole defense force in South Africa. And I had two heart attacks, one under the platform and one at my house. But you men prayed for me and Jesus Christ healed me. I am in debt to him. I shouldn't be alive. I shouldn't be talking to you. I am stronger and fitter today than I ever was. And we're talking, that thing happened seven years ago. Folks, I want to say to you, don't get yourself in debt to the world, to the devil, to his filthy habits and his ways. Walk away from it today and be indebted to one person only. His name is Jesus, the Son of God. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.